Samoa bar. And typically it's uh, coconut, caramel, and almonds, and there's some chocolate. And what's gonna give us that cookie texture and more of a flavor of a cookie is almond meal or almond flour. And I'm also gonna use coconut, and then we're gonna use some toasted almonds, a little bit of date, just a dash of salt, a little bit of coconut butter, and that's just gonna help everything stick together. First thing we're gonna do is throw the dates in the food processor. I'm just gonna throw a fourth cup in there. So I'm gonna process this for a little bit. So with this recipe, it's really easy. It's just three cups of ingredients. So we're gonna do a cup of toasted coconut, and then a cup of toasted almonds, a cup of almond meal, add in two tablespoons of coconut butter, and then last will be just a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna see what it all does just as is, and then we can adjust, add some sweetener if we need to. So I'm noticing it, it being powdery, sandy, not sticking together consistency. It is a little bit, but not much. So what I'll do instead of adding any extra liquid is adding a little bit of maple syrup. So I'll just go two tablespoons. Now I can see that it's sticking together a lot more just by pressing it my fingers, if I squeeze it in my hand, it sticks together. That's what we're looking for because we want it to retain its shape when we press it into the nine by nine. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of maple syrup so it's really sticking together. Sometimes with the food processor, when you're putting maple syrup in, it starts to stick to the side here. So before I add my third tablespoon, I'm just gonna go around the edge with my spatula. So I'm doing one more tablespoon. And now I'm gonna take my another nine by nine and I've already lined it with some parchment paper. I want to put a pile of this in here. But again, I'm just gonna press this around before I start pressing down on it. I've got a little bit of parchment paper sticking out. You could have it overflowing to the sides if you wanted to. And because I've added the, the maple syrup, it's just going to be so much easier to press it together and it's gonna stick together well. And I'll take my spatula again and I'm gonna put the rounded edge and start with the corners and just press down like that. And then start to go around the sides. And you can see how much it's starting, starting to flatten. My other hand in here and just press down. And you can see how much that went down now. Now we're going to make a date and coconut caramel. So I want to start by getting a cup of dates. And I'm just going to chop these up into little pieces first before I put them in the food processor. I have enough up here that I have a cup so I'm gonna throw those in there. It's starting to break down, but this is caramel, so I'm gonna be adding some liquid. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna use some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And I'm gonna do three tablespoons. Turn it back on. Now I'm gonna add one cup of the toasted coconut. And then I'm gonna just scrape it along the sides real quick. Now it's, st it's starting to clump up and turn into globs. So 
I want to add my vanilla, and I'm going to do a teaspoon. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm going to add one more tablespoon of almond milk. Another scrape along the sides. So you can see now it's gotten to the point where it's just sticking along the edge here and it's not going to process much more. Now I'm just going to kind of spread this around and it, you can see how easy it is to move and I can just push it around with my spatula a few times down the side and down the middle just to flatten it all out and then I just have to add the chocolate topping. Now I want to just pour my chocolate layer on top and with this chocolate amount I did a little bit less. I did about a one fourth cup of cacao powder, one fourth cup of cacao butter, and three tablespoons of sweetener. And I'm just going to start to spread it around the corners and evenly cover it the whole thing. I'm just going to take a little bit of toasted coconut, just a little bit, and that'll actually kind of hide the, the streaks as well and just crush them up in my hand and then I'm just gonna sprinkle. And there you have the finished product. I've got a little bit of garnish, so that's gonna be nice. What's great about this is the chocolate, once it's in the fridge and it sets, it's gonna completely solidify. And then the cookie base on the chocolate is gonna encase that creamy, chewy caramel center, which is gonna be really delicious when it's time to score this and cut this up in slices. And that just shows you how you can spend a little bit more time and take it from two layers to three layers. So I definitely encourage you to give this one a try as is and then start to figure out uh, new versions and make your own recipe.